Hey everybody, Angel here with confidenceiscatchy.com. Thanks for tuning in. I am excited to uh, be on my way to a networking event to tell some ladies about our confidence building workshop on Sunday. So I'm in, in my car, uh, in a parking lot, you know, jumping on somebody's Wi-Fi here to try to get you a message about uh, how to take care of yourself. Uh, we talked over the last couple of days about um, your basically maintaining uh, confidence once you build it. And one of the things that I find tends to be a problem, at least for me, and I'm, I'm going to speak for myself, uh, is that I, I tend not to take care of myself as well as I probably could. Uh, and then, obviously, you know, things start to fall apart, uh, whether that be health-wise or the way that you look or the way that you feel. And, uh, and then, of course, your confidence wanes because you don't feel as well as you normally do. So as we talk about in the last couple of days, the last uh, segment of our confidence building month of April, I just want to remind you that, you know, it's just like yeah, if you have a house or a car even, uh, you have to do some maintenance. Now, the, the spring is a great time to do some maintenance on both your yard and yourself. Uh, but uh, in my mind, when I l look at this analogy of uh, spring cleaning, uh, it's not just your yard and your house that needs some spring cleaning. It's really you. Uh, now is a great time of year to really take stock of where you are, what you want for the rest of the year. Uh, did you, you know, did you do anything towards the goals you just set in January? And if not, how do you fix that? Uh, how do you spring clean your mind to get into a better mindset? And uh, how do you take care, better care of your body so that it can do all of the amazing things that you want it to do? So as we go into the summer, now's the time when we start to start thinking about, you know, oh, we've got to put on a bathing suit. Oh, we've got to, you know, get out there and, and be more active and do more things. And it's a great time to really take stock of what do you need to do to be able to do that uh, with confidence and with feel, good feeling and, and basically stepping out into the spring sunshine finally with a kind of a renewed purpose of uh, taking care of yourself and therefore being able to exude more confidence because you won't be as tired, you won't be as lethargic, you won't be as bogged down uh, if you clean house a little bit. So as you're doing your spring cleaning in the yard this weekend, and I know you're going to if you're in New England, I promise you, you will because it's supposed to be super nice. Uh, so if you're out in the yard on Saturday and you're, uh, you know, doing some yard work, uh, think about the yard work you can do up in here too about your confidence. Now, if you're not doing yard work on Sunday, I know where you want to be. You want to be in Rocky Hill at the Ballroom Project, which is on Cromwell Avenue in Rocky Hill, and because we are going to be doing an amazing workshop called Constructing Confidence Live. Now, I know that those of you who've been watching for a few weeks now know all about this, and you've already gone to the link, and you've already got your tickets, but if you're new here and you haven't gone to ConstructingConfidenceLive.com, you're going to want to pick up your tickets now before they are all gone, which is going to be very soon. Uh, Sunday is going to be an amazing day. Um, I've introduced you to our speakers over the last two weeks. I've kind of laid out a little bit of the groundwork of what we're going to be covering. And as the program comes together, I'll tell you that just, just being there to get the prizes and the goodies alone is going to be worth it. Um, I have massage gift certificates for you. I have Pilates uh, gift certificates for you. I have psychic reading gift certificates for you. I have tax prep and, and all kinds of like amazing giveaways just to give those of you that are registered uh, because we have so many great businesses involved. So uh, not to mention the amazing food and the amazing drink uh, next door at Still Hill Brewery, brewery with uh, bread pit flatbread. So it's going to be a